Oh, hey everyone, this is Stevio here. Caught me hauling a load of lime back to the house. Let's get to it. Alright, so we are taking this lime back. So we finished up uh, Dad's field early this morning. Filled up this another load of lime because we are going to do a little expansion on my field. So I just figured I need more uh, cropland. Ooh, took that turn a little bit too sharp. So I really need to put some weights on this hub of this case because it doesn't have enough in the, in the tank as you can see. It struggles a little bit. This is a big Lyman spreader. So we're hauling about 33 and a half tons here. So we got a lot of lime on this old girl. We're going to get it back here at the farmhouse quickly. Let it cool down a little bit. It's going to get plenty of work in this afternoon. So we got to jump into this 8960 here. Because we got one more field to create. So right at the end of our gate here, we're going to create another field. I know I said I was done chiseling this year, this spring at least, but got one more field, I guess. Alright, there the old girl goes right there. So we're going to create this kind of on the top of this little hill here into another good old section so somebody asked uh, why do I use the smaller implement so basically this uh, 8960 creates 400 horsepower so this deep ripping chisel here is basically all this girl has so if you don't know when you're chiseling ripping up the ground getting the compaction out of the ground or creating another field like this you really need to deep chisel it or deep disc it or plow it so it takes a lot of horsepower to do that so that is why so in Wisconsin this conventional tillage is pretty common just because uh, the the heavy clay they have uh, they need to be able to defrost early in the winter or in the spring sorry to get in the field so when they rip up the ground they can get in the fields quicker so that is why and this is a good model so this is basically realistic uh, I think this asked for 360 horse 340 so this horse it has a little bit more horsepower but this is an older 8960 so tractors lose horsepower as they get older so not saying that you can't tune them up or get more horsepower out of them but this is a good old tillage tractor so works nicely on this uh, field finisher here All right. so now that is we've got our first lap or headland around so we will jump over because we need to start prepping the field for wheat. We're way behind on wheat planting. So as you know, 
the other day we got this uh, old 8R ready for some tillage. Need to get, we got the front duals on it. This old girl backed up on the field cultivator. So we'll probably set the field cultivator on this first uh, contour we have at the house here. Just kind of get a feel of it. We're going to actually, uh, this is going to be planted in corn, but then we're going to go because I want to cultivate the wheat ground first. we go so I really like the action of this uh, cultivator definitely nothing's too far in the ground so good old cultivator Is 8960 making its second lap. So we are, uh, while we're cultivating this, getting ready for planting, we're also incorporating the lime and the manure. Incorporated into the soil, so I'm pretty sure that we're going to plant this into corn. So we're going to plant a lot of corn over here on my land and my brother's land. Uh, I think that piece, or actually, I think I'm going to plant this small strip into uh, this will be uh, beans. And the, the middle strip will be beans and the other ones will be corn. Uh, and then everything else will be planted into corn or beans. There's going to be two fields of, of wheat that might be double crop. So. So actually, I decided I'm going to put, sorry, I'm kind of indecisive here. So I'm going to put this as into wheat because this is going to be a little double crop, hopefully, as long as we can get it combined quick enough in the summer, be a little double crop wheat growth here. So we're going to have three fields we're going to plant into wheat or three contours at least. Biggest being my dad's far field and then uh, my brother's, uh, I call it the top piece he has up there on the hill. So it doesn't take long getting all these chiseled up.
Definitely getting the tires white over here. All the lime. Good old chisel tractor, this 8R is. So this is mostly going to be on the planter, but being the 8960 is busy, we're going to leave this on the chisel, or the field cultivator, sorry. 8960 is busy on the chisel, this will be on the field cultivator. I have to consider getting upgrading the 8960 it gets used a lot. We're going to use it on the grain cart. And it's mostly the tillage tractor, so definitely gets its use out of it out of the out of it on this farm. Got this little itty bitty sliver done. Fold this girl up. Driving the grass over here to our other house, to my brother's top piece here. We will drive by our brother's place here as we head on down to the top field. Get our field cultivator folded out. Get a little bird's eye view of the 8R in action here. Missed the little corner there. Amazing how all that white frosting disappears so easily. Doesn't take long with this field cultivator working the field. have a little sliver left now. Now we'll pick up what we missed on the corners. heading down so I wouldn't mind having this field off in front of me over here it's definitely a good little piece of ground there so maybe after a harvest we can talk to the bank and see if we can expand a little bit 
All right, so we'll head down and I'll catch you back when I get back to Dad's view. Now ride along as we take this 8R to the winding path to our back view. Quite a drive all the way to my dad's backfield. All right, now we're going around here, getting this field. So this will be the last field we double crop. The last contour at least. So we did harden a path right here in the center of this field. Create a nice little dry path to our best back little uh, piece of grassland we have. So got a few nice pieces of grassland which will be nice. We'll keep this guy going while we go touch up what the 8960 missed. A few little slivers here we have to finish up. And this field is ready to lie. So we got, this will be our last that we will use this chisel I know I said that before but I guess now I mean it so just have these little slivers to clean up this, we will put this 8960 into the shop get it serviced up ready be put on the cultivator during corn planting, bean planting. Go. Hired hand definitely left a lot of Slivers, that's for sure. I'll make sure we get these all. Now we'll speed up the rest of our touch up of our missed corners here. Get into a spreader. Stay right here with you. Jump into our magnum with a full load of lime. Until it all breaks down. But I need it so I will stay around when you're all messed up. It's a great relief to be understood. Magnum's a little underpowered for this big old lineman trailer. I will jump back by the Hadar as we watch it as it finishes this field. Like 
I said before, it doesn't take long when you got this big cultivator. Just coming back from getting the fertilizer here in the shop. We're following the field cultivator. It's on its way back here. So we just got done with Dad's field. Follow him back around. So now we need to get the wheat started in. So a little bit behind because we didn't get it in on the winter. Should still be alright for double crops, but we will see. All depends about how the weather is and if we can get the weed off in a timely manner. Go through our gate here. We'll actually keep this parked right over here to the side because this planter takes dry fertilizer. Get this drill folded out so that way we can fill it up with some fertilizer. Alright, filling it up now. There we go. Hopefully we should be able to make it through this uh, fence here. go. There we go. Plant the wheat. This is our field here, our only double crop field. Get this going here. We do have a ridge marker out, so usually when you plant wheat, you just go around and around. There's not a lot to it. So, at least we did back in the day, that's for sure. Really like this three section uh, Great Plains planter here. So, we got a, just a little bit, that's not a lot of a. Uh, acres here for wheat. Then we have my brother's land on top of the hill. And then that should be it that I know of. Now we'll speed up the rest of our planting.
don't need our markers anymore, being this field is so small. Doesn't take more than three rounds around the field. I will fold up and head to my brother's field. Get a bird's eye view of this beautiful rig in action. Really like the way this Great Plains looks in the field, just looks natural. Get a behind the cab view here. Doesn't take too long to cut down the acres with this drill. Now we'll touch up what we missed. And start heading to my dad's backfield. Driving this windy road to the backfield here. Watch the planter as it starts the field here. Beautiful country here in Chippewa.
and cut the remainder of this out and see you when we finish. So we are just finishing up the last couple pass on this field. So we worked late into the night, another night late. But the good thing is our wheat is in. So then we can focus in on getting our uh, bean and uh, corn ground ready. I think we just have one more pass to do and we are done over here. Get this done quickly and then see you later. Thanks for watching everyone. And I will see you later here on Chippewa. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time.